This is Dave at TitleSearch.com. When investors are looking at distressed properties such as a foreclosure or tax auction, the question comes up pretty frequently, who actually owns a foreclosure property? And the answer starts with a title search. And when you look at a title search, uh, the first thing that we'll observe is what are the last filed documents? During the course of a foreclosure, several events happen. There may start with a notice of default or a foreclosure notice. Uh, there may be an actual foreclosure filing, a notice of hearing, uh, or even a foreclosure auction. During that time, the ownership uh, may change or different parties may have rights. Up until the property is actually transferred uh, to a new owner or to the lender through a legal process, whether it's an auction or a default, then the technically the owner is still the borrower and up until that point the borrower has the rights of owner for example if it's going to be sold uh, through a realtor or directly with an investor the owner controls that process and as long as that sale satisfies the mortgage amount or the owed amount the owner can go ahead and do that in many cases the borrowed amount or the owed amount is more than the property value in which case a short sale may occur uh, so when you run a title search, you're going to look at uh, the file documents at what point in that foreclosure process uh, has it progressed through to. Second thing is going to look at the lender. Look at the current assignee. Who is the current lender uh, of that mortgage chain? Who has it been assigned to? Uh, if it is something where the borrower has moved out, that may be uh, a situation where you can approach on a short sale because the borrower really appears at that point not to have an interest in the property at least that they've abandoned physically living in the property so a short sale might have less input from the borrower than it would if the borrower was still living there maybe clinging to the idea of wanting to stay so who owns a foreclosure depends upon at what point in that foreclosure process uh, it has progressed to and as an investor there's advantages of looking at that property at different times if you can get involved with the owner while they're still technically the owner of record you eliminate that auction bidding process uh, on the other hand that may also subject you to additional liens on the property that may not get wiped out were to go through the foreclosure process so it's good to look at both options another advantage that you get by buying directly from the owner is the ability to get inside the property, look at the condition, uh, look at the features of the property. Are there granite countertops? Are there uh, other features which add to value? And are they in good condition? So who owns a foreclosure is an uh, excellent question to ask as an investor. Start with a title search. It'll tell you what documents have been filed and legally what state the property ownership is in.